Hey there. So this video is going to be kind of a showcase video. Um, it's probably it's just going to be me explaining what I use, just showing off some of uh, some of the mechs I'm, I'm proud of. And so first, I'm going to start off with that. Pretty much all the paints I use are either Reaper, um, the Game Color Game Ink over there, and the Vallejo colors. Those are the colors I like. They all work very well for me. So in front of you, we have Lance of the Triari Protectors from the current timeline in 3150. And so, we have the Lament here, it's red and gold with some black. And the cockpit is gun is gunmetal uh, blue. And then we have uh, also have the Peacekeeper um, in the center, we have the Nubis in the back center, and the Orion on the left. The Orion I wanted to show because that comes out of one of the Lance Packs. So, the Lance, the Lance Packs look pretty good. Um, my, my only... Um, irking about that is that it comes with two intro box max and I don't use the intro box max enough to need two more so yeah, it was kind of a so-so buy um, but they look fantastic they look like they've done a great job and so here we have the peacekeeper um, basically yeah and just uh, just some red some gold some black I use just some generic blue and it's white for the miss the two little missiles right there and yeah, so uh, for him, I didn't put any of the uh, any of the uh, walking on the ground. I just painted some some scarring from lasers and stuff. And so same with the Anubis, just did some laser scarring, some explosive crater spots. The Anubis is a pretty cool little guy. I'm hoping that they release the uh, the newer one that kind of has the wolf snout on the front. That was a uh, that's a pretty cool model. I like that one when uh, I played Clicky Tech for a while. So this is my Triari Protectors. Um, this is just a lance of them. Uh, I have a few more, and I'll show you my next one. It's gonna be the Hastati Sentinels. So, we have here are the Hastati Sentinels. These are the Elite Republic units. Uh, black and gold is their color scheme. So I just basically used black gold and uh, the gunmetal blue for the cockpits. And so basically, I just kind of went around randomly, putting the gold highlights on, and just put them all, all, over, all over the place, just experimented with it and see where they'd go. Kind of give the Banshee some fangs there, so that was pretty cool. And basically, once I get done painting them, I use Krylon's matte, uh, matte clear spray. That stuff's worked pretty well for me. I've only had one or two chips total in two years. And finally, we have the catapult. And so, for any newer players, we have the Jenner, Cyclops, Banshee on the left, catapult in the back. You'll also notice that these are black and gold, these being the six Celestial mechs. And so, the reason I made them black and gold is it's kind of a universal color. So, when you think of a Shadow Division, and these, all of these being named after angels and demons, black and gold kind of fits. And I also have a, a theory about the Celestial mechs that I'll put in another video. But the Celestials could also work as Hastati Sentinels. So if you look at the current timeline, you'll see that there's, a, there's other mechs like the Uraeus and the uh, Keeper. I actually have a Keeper over there. So this is a keeper right here, or a keeper, however you pronounce the name. There we go. And so obviously that looks just like one of the Celestials. And that's one of the current mechs that was in use by Comstar before the Republic wiped them out. And then finally there's the Omega. The Republic has outfitted a couple of them on Terra with heavy PPCs. So Celestial style mechs are still in use. And so, basically, I have them in black and gold so that I can use them as the Shadow Division in the Jihad campaign I'm running right now. And I can also use them as Hastati Sentinels in current era campaign, if, you know, if slash when we get there. I also have the Legacy right here. This thing is awesome. One of my favorites. I mean, just the model looks, looks really cool. 
And then we also have the light ray. Very dangerous, dangerous little mech. Very fast, usually has a pulse laser or PPC or something. So for any newer players, you have the Archangel up front, Dave and Grigori on the on the flanks of it. Uh, from left to right, we have the Seraph, Malak, and Preda. And the uh, Malak and Preda, those are fast ones. Um, Grigori and Deva, those are uh, medium, medium heavy mechs. Uh, as far as you know, movement goes and all that. And then we have the Seraph and Archangel, which are both assault mechs. So I'll give you a quick glance at a couple of them. So the Archangel, this is a pretty cool one. I kind of styled it after the two heavy PPC variant because I love heavy PPCs. And so, a couple of looks there. I'll bring out the Preda. Preda's a pretty cool looking one. Very agile mech. Kind of put the blood on there, kind of as would be an intimidation factor. Uh, so, got his arm cannon. And then we'll do the Seraph. Seraph is kind of big and clunky. Um, just looking at the record sheets, that one I'm going to have to play with a little bit to find one I really like. And But I mean, it's a cool mech. It's a nice big tall mech, very intimidating. These are my Ghost Bear style mechs. Uh, the dark blue on them is Midnight Blue. And uh, that one was hard for me to match um, because I, when I originally started learning how to paint, um, he had the color and took me forever to find it again. But uh, so then I bought some, and so now I have uh, these uh, Ghost Bear style mechs. Uh, so I have Marauder 2 up front. This was actually the very first mech um, I put together. It wasn't the first one I painted, but I just I just wanted to experiment, just kind of give them some random colors. The back the back isn't too lit up, um, but the blues kind of go all over the place, and just kind of. Asymmetrical. I'm very asymmetrical in the way I like uh, my paint jobs. Here we have a Hellbringer, or Loki as some people like to call him. I like using clan names. So I put some stripes on his on his legs and then in the back, give him some more striping. Here's here's the Grizzly. I really like this mech. This mech, this mech didn't seem very popular in the fiction, but um, I think it's a very cool mech. So we got some striping on the left arm there. Also have some striping in the back. This is one of the one of the mechs that chipped. I think one of the only ones. There's like two of them or something. Next up we have the Bruin. Now you'll see the white and blue, um, just kind of staggered. That is to represent the Rosalog Dominion. Once the Ghost Bears and the Inner Sphere kind of melded together. And so now that the Kung's arm units and all the Ghost Bear Tumen is all together, you know, working together now, that just kind of shows that. I've done that with some other Inner Sphere mechs. And this Bruin's pretty cool. It's a very deadly mech. It's got the pulse laser, Gauss rifle. It's pretty nasty. And finally we have the Karhu. And this, this mech uh, is, is uh, not one that's uh, liked by many of my fellow gamers because this thing is very dangerous. That retractable blade is very scary. And so on him, kind of sticking with the asymmetrical look, I put some striping on that side of him, on his left side there. And so I continued that around the back, kind of like what I did with the uh, Grizzly. And so, yep, that is my Ghost Bear, um, Ghost Bear paint jobs. So that is it for now as far as uh, my showcasing goes. It's just me showing off some of my mechs and giving, talking a little bit about them. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.